wananchi wetu na hiyo ni ukweli wa mambo na mtaiaona tu fellow kenyans although the cost of living has gone up because of global reasons we must also appreciate our local solutions and the strong foundations that we have laid and this is what i am calling positive energy on account of the various economic stimulus packages rolled out by administration over the last two years we have helped to cushion not resolve to cushion because we can only do that which we as a nation can afford and we have helped cushion our families to cope with the challenges arising from shrinking opportunities as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic and other global issues that are well beyond our control. And indeed, I am proud to say that unlike the private sector that declared redundancies that led to retrenchments, we in the public sector maintained our COVID, our, our workforce at pre-COVID levels. Hakuna mwalimu, hakuna mfanyikazi wa serikali, hakuna askari ambaye alifutwa kwa sababu ya ukosefu wa pesa. Watu wetu wote waliendelea na kazi zao bila kukatwa mishahara vile ilikuwa inaendelea katika nchi zingine. Na hiyo ni ukweli wa mambo watu wakubali wasikate ukweli wa mambo. Wewe ulikatwa mshahara? <laughs> so in that same regard I equally call on the private sector as key partners of the state in our journey of economic development, please, let us work in the same spirit, Madam Jane, uh, 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 Mogo, you've just mentioned. Let us all make readjustments that will secure the elusive balance between profitability